Picture this, you've been seeing this amazing woman for a while. The two of you had been on dates where the laughter bubbled up like champagne, shared texts with enough heart emojis to start a small cardiac clinic, and maybe even had that charming movie-esque moment under the rain. Then, out of the blue, the spark fades on her end. She's not returning your texts. And there's this, distance. Suddenly you feel like you're living out the lyrics of a heartbreak song. What would you do? Firstly, don't don the role of the heartbroken lover singing the chorus of Why'd you leave me, baby, just yet. There could be myriad reasons, ranging from personal issues she's dealing with to simply wanting to take things slow. Whatever the case, how you react is crucial. So, here are seven things every man should consider when she starts to pull away. 1. Stay calm and reflect. Would you run after a cat that scurries away from you? Well, women aren't cats, but the principle still stands. The harder you chase, the faster they might run. Before you engage in a texting frenzy, take a deep breath. Could there be a legitimate reason for her silence? Did you perhaps say something that might have upset her? Reflect on your actions and ensure you're approaching the situation with clarity. 2. Communication is key. After you've taken that essential pause, it's time to communicate, but not bombard. A simple, hey, I've noticed you've been distant. Is everything okay? Is far better than sending a barrage of why aren't you replying? It's crucial to remember that while you're a part of her world, you're not the entire universe. She may have her own battles, stresses, or concerns. 3. Respect her space. Imagine, if you will, a garden. If you keep trampling on the flowers, impatient for them to bloom, you'll just end up with crushed petals. Give her space and time. Sometimes absence doesn't make the heart grow fonder. It just makes the mind clearer. Maybe she needs that space to reflect on what she wants. 4. Focus on self-growth. Instead of wallowing in a pit of whys and what-ifs, channel that energy into yourself. This isn't about revenge workouts or showing off. It's about self-love. Dive into a new hobby, read that book gathering dust on your shelf, or maybe learn a dance move or two. Who knows? Next time you could dazzle her or someone else with your cha-cha-cha. 5. Seek advice, not gossip. Talk to a trusted friend about the situation. Sometimes a third-person perspective can be illuminating. However, and this is imperative, seek advice, not gossip. The last thing you'd want is for your concerns to become the latest tidbit in the grapevine, and trust me, the grapevine is quicker than you'd think. 6. Prepare for any outcome. This may sound bleak, but it's essential. While we'd love to believe in fairy tale endings, reality isn't always so kind. Prepare yourself mentally for the possibility that things might not work out the way you hope, and if it comes to that, part on good terms. A dignified exit, as they say, is always the best one. 7. Rediscover the initial spark. Think back to the beginning of your connection. What drew the two of you together in the first place? Was it a shared love for a particular band, a mutual hobby, or an inside joke that had you both in splits? Sometimes revisiting the origins of your bond can help reignite the spark, plan a date reminiscent of one of your firsts, or introduce a shared activity that you both used to love. It can serve as a gentle reminder of the good times and might just be the catalyst to reignite the connection. However, and this is a big however, don't make it seem like a desperate attempt to win her back. Instead, let it be a genuine gesture of remembering and cherishing what you both had. Remember, it's the sentiment, not the scale, that counts. Yes, gentlemen, relationships. Whether friendships, courtships, or partnerships are a two-way street. While it's natural to wonder about a sudden change in dynamics, it's also essential to remember that actions and reactions in relationships aren't tests or trials. They're merely human behaviors, molded by myriad factors, emotions, and experiences. So the next time you find her pulling away, ask yourself, would I want to be chased, questioned, or given some space to breathe? Often the answer lies not in our instincts, but in our empathy. After all, in love and life, it's not about the chase, but the connection. And sometimes giving space can be the strongest connection of all. Dear friends, we thank you for joining us today. And as we bid you farewell, might we ask you two quick questions? Did you find this presentation informative and entertaining? 
Do you enjoy watching videos related to dating, relationships, and personal growth? Great! Just go ahead and smash that subscribe button to get early access to our next video release. You'll be glad you did. We thank you again for joining us today and remind you that you are absolutely fabulous. And yes, you are loved.